Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to carve a pumpkin that looks exactly like this. It's spooky season, so it's time to carve. I do this every year. Now I finally want to teach somebody. So these are the materials that y'all are going to need. I will link each of them down below. Um, so we're, we're going to start right off. Um, you want to start with the, with the flattest side. That's the side that you want to make your face. And we're going to just make a circle with a pin. You could wing it, it's fine. Try to make it three inches from the stem. And this is where we're gonna, th this is the head, if you will. We're gonna mark it and then we're gonna start cutting. We're gonna cut all the way around. Try to do this as uh, precise as you can. And lift it up, look at all the seeds in the guts, the junk off the lid. Scrape it off with a spoon, that's good enough. You don't have to make it perfect, just make it to where all that gunk is out of there. All right, that's cool. Now, we're gonna start with the pumpkin. I've got my little orange uh, scooper. I like it because it's got the grooves all the, all the way around. So we're gonna just start scooping the guts out. Get it clean. Get it nice and neat. Get all of that stuff out, get it all out. It stinks. And if you're carving a pumpkin, you don't need that stuff. So get it out. We're gonna get the rest out, dump it. Make sure y'all have a clean bottom, okay? Keep your area clean, get a trash bag or a towel or something because this stuff, this is messy, all right? It is messy. So that's what it's gonna look like once you've uh, cleaned it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. if you see a few strings, it's not flammable, um, but just try, try to get it as best as you can. We're gonna hop on Google, uh, do a template, a um, jack-o'-lantern template, and we're going to save it, throw it in a Word document, and that way we can adjust it and print it out. And then now we're just going to cut it. Everything black that you see on this paper, we're going to cut it. We're just going to cut it out, carve it out. Try to make this as precise as you can. Take your time with this. I did speed it up a little bit as you could tell, but just take your time with it. You don't have to rush. Make the lines precise and sharp. And so what I use a razor here, you could use scissors, you could use a knife. I don't recommend a knife, but um, if you got a little razor or something really sharp, then you could use that. Uh, a kitchen knife is what I don't recommend. If you have like a, a cutting knife or whatever, then you know you can use that. Put something underneath that way you don't cut your countertops or you know whatever you're, you're cutting underneath, or whatever underneath the surface. And then now we're just gonna pull everything out. I have to cut again. And yeah, just we're gonna, we're gonna just cut it and pop it out because the piece of paper is what we're gonna stick on the pumpkin and then we're gonna trace it like what you see here. You see that? The paper is gonna look, so we're just gonna trace it on the pumpkin. And once you taped it to your pumpkin, make sure y'all tape it right. That way the mouth and the face will be proportioned. Once you tape it on there, just trace it. I mean, just trace it, nothing special. Take your time with this, don't mess up. Um, I did speed it up for the sake of time, but whatever line, whatever y'all trace is what you're going to cut. So take your time with it. And this is me going back and making the lines darker. That way I can see everything. Once I cut it, once I decide that once I carve it. And so that's what it should look like. Time to carve baby. So get your little kitchen knife. For me, this is this worked best for me, uh, and we're just gonna start carving, man. We're gonna start with the left eye. This is where we pop it out. We've cut it. 
perfect triangle pop the eye out we're good to go now we're going to start on the other side same exact thing cut your eye pop it out and we're going to do that you guessed it right we're going to do that to the nose and the mouth if you think about it this whole process is there's a few steps to it but it's really simple i think the key is just to take your time and practice you know like every single year if this is what you're into you know cut a pumpkin you might not if y'all are doing this for the first time you might not it might not be like you wanted the first pumpkin you ever carved but that's okay look y'all let me tell you halloween comes every year it's no surprise y'all could now we're gonna do the nose okay all we got to do left is now the mouth As you can see, it's starting to loosen up, and I'm excited. Okay, we pop the mouth out. And if y'all want to clean around the edges, you can. I highly recommend it. If I want to add a candle to it, this is what it looks like. I got three different angles, and it's spooky season, like I said. Uh, great time of the year. Y'all, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from watching this video. Now go out and carve your own.